Hi, my name is Jeff Lush. Today we're going to talk about adding an if statement to a search with a static filter from a drop down list and do a sort. All of this uh, so that we can find and look at information in our gallery. So stay tuned and we're going to jump right to how to do this and the real world application of this code. So let's get started here. This is part of a book series here called Elephants Do Not Float in Clouds. And um, just search for my name right here, Jeffrey Lush, and you can see uh, see where that book is. Uh, Lulu is the primary place, Barnes & Noble or Amazon. So let's go ahead and get started here. We're using it here on the static filter today. And let's add this information. Let's kind of walk through this. Okay, so sort by columns is a non-delegable uh, command within Power Apps. What that means is if your application is going to exceed 2,000 records in a single list, then you need to be concerned about this because this search will no longer work. 2,000 records. So let me give you an example here. I'm going to go ahead and click off here. This is my sample app that I'm building here for these videos. And here we're taking a look at this, this list here. These lists in theory would be 2000 records each. Now I'm just, they're not because I'm just using this as an example, but let's say you had two different lists here at 1800 or 1950 records each. And I want to be able to search through those as an archive as an archive not as a active task but as an archive so let's say i wanted to search here for um germany for example i would just search notice here i have uh, out of these 121 tasks i have 10 in this list and 51 in this list so i'm kind of working around the delegable 2000 limit by putting in what I call this archive manager. So there are lots of ways and lots of people have very creative ways to get at this. This right here, these are my primary tasks. Notice here that I, I just have 13 tasks. This is a separate list. This is an archive list, a, a um, archive list within the past six months. So I'm just dividing up my data more creatively so that I don't have to hit and come up against that 2000 limit. Additionally, with that 2000 limit, by the way, you're really putting a lot of strain on Power Apps because this is a SharePoint list. Now, could you get around this going to another data source? You could if you wanted to pay the extra money for SQL or other data in the dataverse or other types of data sets, you don't have to worry about those limits. But for my videos, I like to get it where everybody who uses Office 365 at a very basic level without all the additional licenses can actually get the job done. So so this is, this is why we're here. Okay, that's a lot about delegation, but it's an important fact to understand. So let's jump into what we are actually doing here. Sort by columns. Now we're adding a search. Remember, B, L, and M are all kind of attached to one another. We search this box right here. So when we look at our app, that's this box, search tasks. Okay. So we're searching that box. We're searching for text within that box, any text that we put in there. And then we're um, searching in the column name, task name. Now we could have multiple multiple columns in there by the way from our list but we're just choosing task name if i wanted a second column in here i would just simply put a, co a comma in there and search for it in fact um let's take a look here i'm only doing one here but i would just do comma and then i just put in whatever whatever it is let's just say um task oops task tags Okay. All right. And then, then that would be it right now. Now I'm searching on two columns within this data set. And when you pull this down, you can see here, um, 
Well, you just have to take my word for it. There's tags. There's task name right there. And I just saw tags, but task tags right there. Okay. So we can search on either of those values now. So, all right. So that's kind of how you do that. That's search. Filter is C right here. We're filtering this data set right here. D. Okay. Priority tasks is the name of the list itself. So when we go back over here to our example, um, when we look for our example here, we can see priority tasks is the name of the actual list. Okay. Gantt switch is, and we talk about this in another video, but the Gantt switch is a text value. So it's a text value, um, simple text field that a single text field is what SharePoint calls it. But basically we're saying everything that's equal to yes or not equal to no um, is going to show up on the list. Now, why is that? Because we want to here, we don't want our personal tasks. Like, for example, you know, do your time card. We don't want that showing up in this list. Okay. All right. Then we're going to enter into a and statement now this could also be two pipes so that would look like this if we were to go here we could replace this with whoops not that <laughs> with that if we wanted to okay so you can see it comes up here and those are two pipes i like to to spell it out because i think it's just as much effort to say and and um you know then to put out the two pipes so anyways so we're going to do that gantt switch now i've done another one of these switches archive switch i use this as a simple text field because it's easy to deal with in code and again i'm trying to make these videos so that everybody who's using sharepoint can do this easily okay now so we got the end switch f g i and j these all deal with a drop down. Notice here, DRP Urgency 5. So let's take a look at that in our code. So DRP Urgency 5 right here. I'm showing you different ways to see this. You can see it in the tree view. You can also see it right here, DRP Urgency 5. Okay, that's the name of this drop down box. Do you see that? Drop down box. So we're going to say any value that we select. Oh, not any value in this example. We're going to do that in the next video. This value, all, so if we select all, notice here that you have critical, for example, or all, or essential. So you're kind of sorting the data. And what this does is it just gives you the ability to really make this dashboard more personal. So here we're just doing all. And <clears throat> this is the drop down itself. Okay. So right here, drop down urgency, select all, which is G and H right there. And we're saying that it's true, okay, that it meets this condition, okay? And then urgency class is equal to all. So what that means is within this list here, um, within this task itself, we have a field called urgency class. And what that basically is, is right here. It's critical, essential, nice, or milestone. So I enter in that information. Let me show you on another screen, make it a little easier. Um, well, anyways, it doesn't matter. Um, you just enter it in. You tell what it is. And you can see here, urgency classes right there. Critical, essential, etc. Okay? So that's what that's saying right here. Urgency class equals all, K. Okay. Now, we're... We're plugging that value in K. In our next video, I'm going to show you how to plug in the drop-down value so then you don't have to write a whole bunch of these lines. You can just do one, one if statement and it'll loop kind of on itself. Okay, so we talked about this. This is search text box. We talked about the task name, which is the column. And now this task follow-up date is the sort. So if you look at the data, notice here the follow-up date is based on right here do you see these um right here these little dots that's the follow-up date we'll go into that in another video but you can see it's sorted 
starts at the most current follow-up date and works its way down. Okay, and that's it really. Uh, so take a screenshot of that or buy the book, whatever works for you. There's the screenshot right there. And then here's the instruction. Take a screenshot. Good. And the rest of it. Screenshot. Good. So if you want to just do screenshots, not purchase the little booklet. It's not very expensive, but, you know, it's a couple bucks. But if you don't want to do that, just use the screenshots. It's all good. So I wanted to go into something. So that's it really on this creating an if statement for search, filter, and sort. I wanted to go into, while I got your ear here, on this drop down. How do I make this drop down? Now, this is a content for another video, but I wanted to at least kind of broach this with you since, since we're talking here. Notice in items, I'm pulling from a variable, a collection that I've created. Now, I could pull this from another list, by the way. I choose not to. I could create a list with the data in it. Let's take a look and see where that data is. Coal collection urgency. I could do that in a list, but I'm doing it just as a as a variable, just something that happens when I start up this application. And we're going to go to the app screen right here. And this is the screen at the very top of all of your screens. It's called app on start. And notice here that I have all kinds of things that I'm collecting and doing in here. But the one I want to look for is that coal urgency. So if I just click once in there and then I do a control F, I can get a little search. So it makes it a little easier for me. Okay. And there it is right there. Coal urgency right here. I'm going to set this array, all critical, essential, nice, and milestone. And then I'm going to call it right here. This is what we're actually calling. Now, I don't remember why I didn't call the array directly but I did this but nonetheless it works so here what we're doing is we're setting the variable itself all it's etc etc maybe I'm just used to doing things in power bi where you got to set and then use but here we're setting the variable and we can adjust this anytime we want just by adding more text then that will appear in that drop down menu then here uh, what we're doing is we're collecting this collection right here is coal urgency which is what we see for the drop down menu and we're just basically pointing to that array so whoops close that so when you look at that again coal urgency that's what that is okay and then of course this box here is just a search box so that's it for this video good luck with let's go back to that screen with your filter right here with an if statement in in searching and filtering